Anyhow, oh, hope everybody is doing well. Um, <clears throat> I have had an interesting week. We shall call it the week of bullshit. Um, because that is what's been going on. <clears throat> so, I got in trouble at work. Um, I knew something I would do or say or something I was, uh, it was bound to happen eventually. I didn't think it would be this soon, but I did get in trouble at work. <clears throat> so, uh... A parent, one parent, was not happy about, um, I guess, one of my teaching techniques, which really, I have these flashcards, and uh, we, we make our own flashcards, and we laminate them. So sometimes if the child's not paying attention, I'll just, boop, give a little, you know, a little tap, a little tap, tap, tap a -roo, right there on the head, get their attention. Because if I yell, <clears throat> they think that I'm playing. They don't understand it. Or if I, if I clap my hands real loud, they, they start clapping back. So I was like, I just give I just give them a little tap. I mean, one, it's just a piece of laminated paper. But two, I'm not, you know, trying to bury bonds in anybody's head or anything. So it's whatever. <clears throat> and then sometimes it, if they misbehave, I would uh, just... Give him a little flick on the ear. Um, it's nothing drastic. It was just like a... And actually, nine times out of ten, it would just be by the ear because the sound would scare him. Um, <clears throat> so a parent... How was it put to me? A parent protested me about it. Um, it required that my agency, my agent, have a meeting with the principal and myself... <clears throat> so, the day I got told that I, I knew it was kind of going to happen because um, my coworkers let me know, my, the other foreign teachers <clears throat> gave me a heads up, which, you know, awesome. I was like, cool, well, I'm done with that. So, I don't, I don't, any, there's no more of that. So, I don't tap them on the head, flick them, anything. That's, which is crazy because, man, some of these Chinese teachers are just, you swear you're watching a UFC fight with some of them. It's like, oh my gosh, is that an arm bar? Like, is, I, don't, I don't think that kid's head's supposed to be against the wall. But my little tap on the head with the flashcard, that's that's crossing the line, damn it. You know, that's, that's a no-no. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, so my agent's talking to me. And I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm a little nervous. Like, damn, I'm going to have to change schools. And what I was really upset about was I just bought a couch and TV, and in my mind I'm thinking, shit, i got to move that now. I just kind of got settled in and comfortable. But <clears throat> anyways, so my agent's like, Cody, don't worry. I mean, uh, I, I know the school likes you, a majority of the parents and kids like you. We just have an issue with this one, with this one parent, and... <clears throat> you, I know you like it here, so don't worry about it. You know, we might just have to do some talking. I was like, oh, okay, cool. It's basically I'm thinking talking ass chewing. You know, okay, I've got my ass chewed before. Uh, coaches, all you know, like it happens. So <clears throat> we get to this meeting, and sure enough, it's. It's like an hour, hour and a half ass chewing. Here's the thing though. You know what an hour, hour and a half ass chewing is in another language? Nothing when you don't understand it. So they were sitting there talking, talking, talking. And they were talking at me, speaking Chinese. And I'm just, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm no idea what they're saying that was the most just like I don't know it was it was an ass chewing but it wasn't an ass chewing because I didn't understand any of it so 
And and then I knew they they didn't even tell me the whole thing because they would be talking for 30, 45 minutes and then they would just tell me two sentences. Like that's that's all you guys said. So I'm sitting there getting my ass chewed in a language I don't know. So it's I'm not even phased by it. It's like, oh, all right, cool. Well, I'm not gonna do it again, don't worry. Have a good day. So simple as that. <clears throat> um, so yeah, had a meeting about it. That was Tuesday, I think. Yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was done. Apparently it got brought up again Friday, Thursday or Friday, but I haven't heard nothing else got brought up. So hopefully it's just water under the bridge. <clears throat> I'm doing what they suggested. I'm being vocal with the parents, sending pictures in these group chats that we have for the class and talking about how well their kids are doing, <clears throat> playing the game, you know, until everything blows over and then it's whatever. Um, so yeah, I thought that was it. I thought that was about to be my week of bullshit. No, no, there's more. There's so much more. <sighs> so me, knowing that there's a holiday coming up, I was like, sweet. We get <clears throat> Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off, you know, plus Saturday and Sunday. I'm thinking, Dude, we got five consecutive days off? Shoot, that's awesome. They ain't, they ain't had that in a while. Let's be nice. Them little hellions, I mean students, you know, break from them. So it'd be it'd be great. <sighs> well, I learned something else this week here in China. Yes. We do get holidays off in the middle of the week. You know what else we get? An opportunity to make them up. Yeah, today's Sunday. We had to work today. Not a teacher's work day or anything like that where the students aren't there. It was treated like a Monday. Yep. <clears throat> so we had to go in, teach everything, full day. And it's just like, oh. All right, so at first I was like, all right, <clears throat> whatever, fine. Do Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, then bam, get five straight days off. Wrong. Wrong again, Cody. So wrong. <sighs> we get Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off. We get Saturday off. We gotta go back Sunday. And then what makes it even worse is next week when we go back Sunday, it's six days straight. Six. Six. Days straight. <clears throat> there's this, uh, there's this idea that, it, that I've seen to come across where it almost, when I said something about it, I think some of the Chinese people, some of my, um, like at the agency, are, were just like shocked. Like, but you're American. You guys are always working. No. No, we are not. Not like that. That is, I, I don't want to hear them talk about how Americans work too much ever again. They work hard here. All the time. Constantly. Yeah, like, it's non-stop. And then when I was like, time out, we, we got days off in the week? Cool, but we have to make them up on Sunday? <sighs> Bruh. So, again, a week of bullshit. <clears throat> so, but it's cool. I mean, it's a learning experience, you know. And there's things that they do different over here. That's one of the reasons that I wanted to come was to experience all this. So, you know, I'm going to do like everybody else does when it's time to wake up Sunday or even the rest of the week. You know, I'm going to wake up and in my mind, I'm going to quit my job like 10 times 
And then after laying in bed for like an extra five or ten minutes, I'm going to wake up, get ready for work. Because, you know, in your mind, it's like, do I need this job? You know, you're contemplating it. And you're just like, you know, I'm, today I'm, I'm going to let them know how I feel. I don't need this job. And you start remembering, like, uh, you know, I like to eat. I like having a place to live. You know, all, you know, all that stuff. So then you get up, get dressed, take your ass to work. Yeah, <clears throat> that's what I'm going to do. I mean, I think that goes without saying. You know, I'm, I'm going to quit in here. In my mind, I told you all I'm done. But my ass is going to make that 20-minute walk to work, so don't worry about it. I'm going to be on time. I'm going to clock in and everything. So, yeah. Um... So, and <clears throat> already talking with, um, with some friends and we're going to go to one of the parts of the Great Wall. So I'm, I'm stoked about that. It's actually a part where, I don't know if some of y'all seen the videos on Facebook or, or Instagram or anything, where they got this almost like a trolley system, like a cart system, where you slide down. And so it's going to be that part. I am looking forward to that. That is going to be cool. Um... So plus, you know, get to see a part of the Great Wall. So that should be a fun, adventurous uh, video session. So looking forward to that. And I don't know if we're going to do a day and then just come back or we're going to go camp and then come back. So it's it's all up in the air right now. But, yep. So, but yeah, that has been uh, <clears throat> my week. It's, it has been a... We're going to call this, uh, besides a week of bullshit, we're going to call it uh, Learning Week. This has been a very educational week on how things are done and things like that. So, again, everything's still, I mean, it's still fun, still learning experience, having a great time. <clears throat> um, you know, just kind of going with it learning as I go and you know going with the flow so it's what I do like a uh, like a social chameleon I just kind of blend in with my environment and make it work so of course you know six five three hundred plus pounds it's a big ass chameleon it's definitely hard to blend you know, in a spot where you're like two feet taller than everybody. But I make do. I make do. I think my blending in is me standing out. Yep, that's it. So when I'm taking random pictures with people, that's that's me blending in. Bam. Nailed it. So yep. Alright. Well now I have to get ready for bed and you know, rest up because even though today's Sunday, I work today, and tomorrow's Monday, so I gotta work tomorrow and Tuesday, but then I get four days off. So, what? All right, Zai Goodbye. God, I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs>